In the following problem, we are asked to verify the following identity. Cotangent of the opposite of x divided by the cosecant of the opposite of x is equal to cosine of x. In order to investigate this identity, we must remember the negative identities. To do this, we will draw our unit circle and look at x. as pi over 4. On the unit circle with radius of 1, 4 x our angle equaling pi over 4, we know that it corresponds to the coordinate point square root of 2 divided by 2. Therefore, the cosine of pi over 4 and the sine of pi over 4 are both the square root of 2 over 2. In order to find the cosine of the opposite of x and the sine of the opposite of x, we will recognize that instead of rotating this counterclockwise, the opposite of x would rotate it in a clockwise manner, rotating through a negative pi over 4. We would now have the coordinate point in quadrant 4. In quadrant 4, our x-coordinate is positive, and our second coordinate is negative. Therefore, the cosine of the opposite of x is the same as the cosine of a positive x. Sine of a negative x is the same coordinate as the opposite of sine of x. These are our two negative identities. From there, we can determine what the tangent of the opposite of x would have as an identity, as well as the cotangent of the opposite of x, and our reciprocals of cosine and sine, which are secant and cosecant, respectfully. Tangent of the opposite of x would be the cosine and sine relationship, or the sine of negative x all over the cosine of negative x. We would know that the sine of the opposite of x is the opposite of sine x, and cosine of the opposite of x produces the same y value or cosine of x. Therefore, the sine of, or the tangent of the opposite of x is negative tangent of x. In this problem, we lo need to know the cotangent and the cosecant. We could simplify this just a little bit by recognizing that the cotangent is cosine over sine, or the cosine of a negative x over the sine of negative x. That's all divided by the cosecant of negative x, which is 1 over sine of negative x. If I would invert and multiply, I would get the cosine of the opposite of x divided by the sine of the opposite of x times the sine of the opposite of x over 1. We will notice that the sine of opposite of x cancels out, and I'm left with the cosine of the opposite of x, which we know is defined to be the cosine of a positive x.